When I first got into CS, I really tried to learn everything that I could. So things like React, Python, AI, backend, frontend. Pretty much, I thought the more that I knew, the better my chances. But turns out that's not how it works. See, I wasted so much of my time chasing 10% of everything instead of going 100% in on one thing. And I see so many people doing the same right now. But the truth is, people don't get hired because they kind of know 12 different things. They get hired because they're really good at one thing. And honestly, the more I focused on one area, the more confidence I got. My projects got better and I could finally explain what I was good at on my resume and for interviews. So this made me realize that depth is what separates you from everyone else. And it's not just the surface level knowledge that ChatGPT could replace in two seconds. So yeah, I'd advise you to pick one lane, whether it's backend systems, machine learning, mobile development, development, basically anything that you're even slightly drawn to and just go really deep and get in depth on that subject. And trust me, I believe you'll thank yourself later. And so this is where most people get stuck. They don't know what to go deep on. So they just try a little bit of everything. And I don't think that's a bad idea. I think you should be going broad to start off with, but then you notice that people burn out or fall off because they think that they have to be an expert at everything when in reality, they just have to be good at one thing. And this led me to the realization that I don't think people quit software engineering or quit trying to land a job in CS because they're not smart enough. I think they quit because because they're mainly just lost. And that's why in my last video, I said to follow your passion, not because it sounds cool, but because it gives you direction. But this doesn't mean to just do what's fun. It means find the part of CS that actually makes you care and to do the thing that you'd want to get better at even if nobody was watching. Because here's the thing, CS is easy if you know where you're headed. And I think most people can pretty easily learn a language and build a basic project, but without direction, none of it really means anything. So pick something. It can be anything. It could be a company that you like or a sector that interests you or a problem that actually matters to you. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Like I've said before, it just needs to move you forward. And that one decision where you find your lane will actually make everything else a lot simpler. So let me tell you exactly what I've been doing recently to try and land a job after college. I picked a company that I actually care about, not just one that's currently hiring. I learned the technologies they used, looked at their open source projects, studied their file naming conventions, and pretty much just got into real detail on what they're working on. Then I started building a project that feels like it actually belongs at that company. So not a to-do app or a Netflix clone, something that actually fits their mission and their technologies. And this is actually what changed my entire perspective on building in computer science because I stopped thinking like a student building random stuff or someone just following random tutorials, but I started thinking like someone on their team and started trying to solve issues that they may be going through. And this mindset shift not only makes you build better, but it makes your resume a lot stronger. And it gives you something real to talk about when you actually reach out to people. And that actually leads me to my next topic, which a lot of people often ask questions about, which is networking. So once I get a good chunk of the project done, I go ahead and post it on LinkedIn. I basically describe what I'm building, why I'm building it, the problems that I ran into, and what I learned, and even how it connects to that company. And the good part about this is that if someone on their team sees it, it can even lead directly to a referral without you having to do much. But if not, I don't just sit around and wait for something to happen, this is where you have to put your best foot forward and search for engineers at that company. I basically try and find people who work on things related to my project. And when I message them, I don't just say, hey, can I get a referral? Instead, I say, hey, I built a project inspired by the work that your team is doing on X and I'd love your thoughts or any feedback. It's not just me asking for a favor, it's me inviting a conversation. And that's what networking really should be. And later on, once a job opens up, that's when you can reach out again and say, hey, I saw a role opened up on your team. I've been working on a project that lines up with your work. Would you be comfortable with referring me? And now this message hits completely different because you're not just some random person. You're someone who already acts like they belong on the team. And you're also someone that the team is already aware of. 
Okay, so the last thing I want is for you to watch this video and feel motivated, but then watch another video or scroll on YouTube shorts or whatever it is that you do and then end up wasting even more time. So if this video motivated you and put you in the right headspace, please start coding something or even just try and get some idea off the ground. And this is where people always ask me what to do if you're still struggling to learn the fundamental concepts. And so if you're looking for a way that you can learn and apply foundational coding concepts to get you ready for your career well that's why i use today's sponsor brilliant brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math science data analysis and ai brilliant is a learning app designed to be uniquely effective each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concepts which is a method proven to be six times more effective than watching lecture videos brilliant's first principles approach helps you build understanding from the ground up and a perfect mix of engaging problems competitive features and daily encouragement Encouragement keeps you motivated and on track. Plus, all content on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals from Stanford, MIT, Caltech, Microsoft, Google, and more. Brilliant helps build your critical thinking skills through problem solving, not memorizing. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you'll also be becoming a better thinker. And Brilliant's newly updated programming courses are a great way to build a foundation in coding, get experience with real-world applications, and learn to think like a programmer. Brilliant lets you build timeless problem solving skills to thrive in the evolving world of programming. Brilliant also allows you to learn to think like a programmer by breaking down complex problems into manageable chunks of code. Using Brilliant will also let you develop an intuition for computer logic as you learn to design and debug real programs. And Brilliant lets you get familiar with Python and start building programs on day one. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days visit brilliant.org slash lattice or scan the qr code on screen or you can also click the link in the description and you'll also get 20 percent off an annual premium subscription so once again huge thank you to brilliant for sponsoring the video and overall i hope this was useful to you in some sort of way i know there's a lot of people in my position who are also struggling in computer science and so i'm thinking about maybe making a community like a discord where we can all just share our thoughts and anything that we have to say so if you're still here let me know if you if that's something that you'd be interested in and thank you.